it is the end of week three um, and I looked at your recipes so I'm going to do a variation of a smoothie. So I'm doing one that I almost have every day if I have everything for it but um, I'll show you all the ingredients but it's just a berry and peaches uh, protein smoothie with some arugula. Um, but anyways I'll show you everything and we'll mix it up and go from there. So here are my ingredients. Um, first things first, I do seed cycle. Um, I've been trying to work on balancing my hormones a little bit more and um, it's been hard to stay consistent with the seeds. Um, so this has been a good way to kind of incorporate that, just add that into my smoothie uh, every day. So I have the um, sunflowers and the sesame seeds and they're I pre-blended them so a tablespoon of each um, and then this is my protein powder that I've um, been using my doctor actually recommended it because I have um some issues like with um, B vitamins and whatnot I'm I have MTHFR so this is like a methylated version uh, with those vitamins so I, I can absorb them better um, then just some unsweetened almond milk will go in there um, about a cup of frozen peaches and about a cup of frozen blueberries. And then I like to throw arugula in there or whatever green I have in stock. Um, so this week it's arugula and then just blend that. So I will go ahead and do that right now. All right, so I um, went ahead and put the protein powder, uh, two scoops of that, which is about 26 grams of protein, which um, is helpful, especially busy with school and making sure I'm getting enough protein because I'm not like the biggest animal meat eater and just it's kind of an, a convenience, especially right now with just busyness with school. And then my peaches, um, blueberries, and then I'm going to add some arugula. And I honestly, I'm um, pretty bad about recipes, um, so I kind of just eyeball things and, um, to see how it tastes and adjust from there. So I don't like use a certain amount of almond milk or arugula or whatever. It's just kind of whatever I think tastes best. So I'll just add some water to this now and then blend it and we'll try it out. Okay, so I have um, blended my smoothie and we'll give it a shot and see how it tastes. good um so the reason I kind of chose this recipe just to start answering some of those questions um I'm doing a low histamine diet so two of um the genes that are part of breaking down histamine I have mutated and don't work very well um so I've always kind of wanted to go on a low histamine diet to see if that would help with just some of my other health issues um so all of the ingredients that are in this are lower histamine. Um, so for instance, I usually put spinach in my smoothies and there's arugula in this. Um, so in a normal circumstance, I probably wouldn't pick arugula because it is pretty strong. Um, it's not bad, but I think um, spinach is better. This is just a little on the bitter and like has like a spice to it that arugula usually has. Um, not the best for a smoothie, but still, it's not bad. Um, and then just as far as, um, why I like smoothies, um, and talking about like reductionism, um, I think people really get hung up on trying to get a certain amount of micro or macronutrients. And, um, I think smoothies are definitely, um, convenient. And so it's still kind of playing into like people can feel like they're getting enough protein and that kind of thing. But also, um, you are getting whole foods in here, even though it's blended up this, the fiber is still in here versus like juicing, which I have a lot of family members that do that. And we've had some discussions about the pros and cons and all of that. And, um, maybe they'll disagree on some things, but, um, yeah, I think smoothies overall are just a really good way to incorporate whole foods. Um, maybe some of the things you normally wouldn't want to eat, like spinach or arugula, um, and it can be hidden with sweeter fruits, and they still have their fiber. We're not drinking a bunch of fructose, sugary 
juice, that kind of thing. So um, I, th I think it's a good alternative. Um, you know, I don't think this is something that should be done with every meal. Um, I think there's something to be said about chewing your food, um, sitting down and eating a meal versus grab and go smoothies. So um, realistically, I think smoothies are overall a good thing, but not all the time. So anyways, I'm excited for next week and it looks like we're making pizza. So that'll be fun and I'll see you then.